here's my source server. It's Windows Server 2008. Forgive the garish wallpaper. And just to prove it, here we are, Windows Server 2008. And to try and make it a worst case scenario, not only is it 2008, but it is also 32-bit x86 just to prove that uh, even if your servers are well rickety and old you can still use this in fact you can use this on server 2003 so I've got a shared directory on here with some shared files that I want to migrate to my new file server and to make things even more difficult I've got some user profiles on here the problem with user profiles is that usually even if you're the domain administrator you can't access them so copying them can be quite problematic but even that's covered using the server migration tools that's my source server jumping over onto my new file server which is going to be Windows Server 2019 there we go server 2019 and it is already a domain member I haven't added any roles or anything on jumping back over onto my source server this is why hence the garish wallpaper so you can see where I am now I'm going to create a new folder that the migration tools are going to go into I'm just going to call it smeg deploy I'm going to share that folder uh, and I'm going to set the security on it or the sharing security on it for everyone full control because it's only going to have the deployment tools in it. You'll see where we're creating that in a moment. Okay, diving back onto my 2019 server. I'm going to open PowerShell, right click run as administrator and I need to add on the migration tools. I'm just going to bump the font up a little bit to make things easier for you to see. There we go. So install Windows feature, migration and then I'm installing it locally on this machine. Win 2019 is the host name and that's the migration tools installed now open an administrative command prompt and I'm going to navigate C Windows System 32 server migration tools and I'm going to run smig deploy exe I'm going to deploy a package and the architecture that I'm deploying to remember is x86 that's what my source is you would put AMD 64 in there if it was a 64 the OS is Windows Server 08 the path to the source directory where we're going to deploy our deployment tools to and select execute so if I go back to the directory on here we should see now that we have indeed got our x86 deployment tools in here because I'm lazy I've got to copy that address as text run an administrative command window and change into that directory and now I'm going to run let's make deploy prefix that with a dot backslash and what that does is it opens a PowerShell window PowerShell windows used to be black and white back in the time of PowerShell 1 just leave that window open and jump back onto our 
destination server. Now I'm simply going to create, I'm going to move the profiles first. So I'll just create a folder that my profiles are going to go into. Now all the shares and NTFS permissions will be copied across when we're done. I just need to target on there. So now I'm going to add the PowerShell snap in. Microsoft Windows Server Manager Migrate Sorry, Migration And then if you've got that right, you shouldn't say anything at all And then Receive SMIG Server Data And hit Return Now you have to type in a password here once you've done that, there's a five minute window where you've got to execute the send commands on the other box. So we're diving across to a source server. On here it's send SMIG server data. Computer name to which we are sending the data. So the new one is Win2019. The source path to the folder that we're going to migrate which is C colon backslash profiles and the destination path is exactly the same. We're going to include everything and we're going to copy everything recursively. Then you'll be asked to enter the same password you entered on the 2019 server and the process should start. Now if the process stalls it's usually because of Windows firewall on the destination needs either turning off or TCP port 7000 opening and the data will migrate across when it's finished it will just return you back to a command prompt like so so now if I look in my profiles directory on the destination I should have all my profiles copied across and if I try and open one the permissions have copied across as well so if they are profiles of course uh, you're going to need to change the profile path on your Active Directory user objects. That's easy enough to do. Obviously, I've got a very simple setup here on Testbench. I'll just change them all in bulk to backslash backslash win2019 backslash profiles backslash and then I'll use the variable percent username percent so the right username gets added for each user and that's just done our profiles are migrated across with the proper permissions so for our shared directory then we're going to do exactly the same thing again remember you set up the receiving end first and then you execute the commands on the source but you need to have a target directory to copy them into Remember the folder on the source server was called shared, so I'm just going to create the same server name on the destination. Then I'm going to again set it to receive. Type in a password, it could be different the first one if you want it to be. And then on here, if I re recall my last commands with the up arrow a couple of times, all I need to do is change the folder name in that command from profiles to shared on the source and the destination of course execute that type the same password in again now this one will take considerably longer because it's quite a bigger folder and there's a lot more data on it Obviously, if you're doing this on production machines, you might want to put faster NIC in your older servers. If they've only got 1,100 um, NICs in them, you might want to put 1 gig NICs in them or connect them onto faster switch ports uh, that will obviously speed this process up somewhat. And that's the data across. And there's my shared folder migrated across. Now, not only has that migrated everything with the right NTFS permissions, but it's also copied everything across with the correct share permissions. And we can check that the folders are shared by running fsmgmt.msc. 
And if I go to shares, you'll see there they are. Profiles and shared. I've got shared permissions carried across with them. That's it done. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come visit us www.peaknetlive.com. Give us a like, subscribe and ring the bell.